Hi, this is Terry Vanoy, and welcome into my online classroom. This is Math with Mr. V. I want you to remember that while you watch these videos, these lesson videos, I am going to talk you through the concepts and then present a problem for you to try. So grab a piece of paper and you can pause, rewind, even fast forward anytime you'd like. So good luck. Let me know how it goes. All right, let's take a look at the, in section 8.1, the altitude theorem. This theorem says that the geometric mean is formed from the altitude, e.g. Now, when you say geometric mean, we're talking about putting it in these two places in a proportion, bottom left, upper right. The theorem says that the altitude, e.g., is the geometric mean between dg and GF. Okay? However, let's look at it a different way. I'm going to make a dashed line to represent the geometric mean part. That's the altitude. And when you draw that altitude, you separated the hypotenuse into two parts. The altitude is the geometric mean between those two parts. Now let's look at a real example. Here is a right triangle with an altitude drawn from the right angle and it's separating the hypotenuse into two parts. We have on one side that's 9 and another side that's 4. According to our theorem, it says that the altitude EG is the geometric mean between the 9 and the 4. So, I'm going to write my proportion, and remember that the altitude EG is going to be the geometric mean between the 9 part and the 4 part. So, this is what our proportion is going to look like. If I assign the value of x to the unknown altitude, the x is going to go lower left, upper right. And the 9 and the 4 will fill out the rest of the proportion. Now we're going to cross multiply and solve. x times x and 9 times 4. x times x is x squared. 9 times 4 is 36. We're going to take the square root of both sides. And of course my answer is going to be 6. So the altitude would have to be 6 units long. Now you try the next example. We have a right triangle DEF with the altitude drawn from E to G and the altitude is unknown, we'll call that X, and the leg Y is also needing to be solved. The hypotenuse is split into two parts, 5 and 2. Go ahead and hit pause and try this. By the theorem that we call the altitude theorem, the altitude is the geometric mean between the two parts of the hypotenuse. We know that we can write the proportion where x is in the lower right and upper, excuse me, lower left, upper right, because it's the geometric mean between the 5 and the 2. When we cross multiply, I get x squared equals 10, and x would be the square root of 10, the square root of 10, or about 3.16. So, the altitude is 3.16. Now, we know two of the three sides of the triangle based on this side and this side and this side. Again, just to kind of simplify our drawing, we have a 3.16 side, we have a 2 side, and we're looking for y. Use the Pythagorean theorem because that is a right triangle, and we know two out of the three sides. So, 3.16 squared plus 2 squared equals y squared equals y squared. 3.16 squared is about 9.98. Notice that it's close to 10 because it was radical 10. Plus 4 equals y squared. Add that up, we get 13.98 equals y squared. The square root of both sides is 3.7. All right, how did you do? Hopefully you understood the concepts. Um, remember that um, if you want a related video or a concept that's similar and or just extra practice, email me and let me know. I can record a new one for you and we can customize it. Once again, this is Terry Vanoy in my online classroom with Math with Mr. V.